Here we have two problems. We want to solve one using substitution, the other one use elimination. Let's get right to it. Substitution is just the word it means, substitute. Okay, when you have a substitute teacher, you stick the substitute doing the same work that your regular teacher do. So for this one, we're going to solve the equation of y. y is equal to minus 2 plus 4x. So all I did is, this is actually minus 4x. Okay, so all I did is subtract 4x on this one on both sides. So I have a minus 2 minus 4x. Okay, once so, as soon as I got a y in there, every time I see y in the second equation, I'm going to use that expression. Okay, minus 3, what's y? It's minus 2 minus 4x equal to 1. Okay, from here this should be pretty, pretty easy. All you have is uh, one variable, one equation here. Okay, 12x is equal to 1. Uh, let's see, so we have 10x here equal to minus 5. So I subtract 6 on both sides. 10x. x is equal to minus uh, half here. Okay. Once you get x equal to minus half, you can substitute it back into one of, one of the equations. But a quicker way is this. You already solved for y. y is equal to minus 2 minus 4x. So all you have to do is substitute in there. Minus 4 times minus half here. Okay, so as you can see, you have a minus 2 plus 2, not equal to 0. So solution for this half is x is equal to minus half, y is equal to 0. Okay, all right. That's uh, what we call the substitution method. Uh, again, substitution is solve for one variable. Every time you see the same variable, use a different expression for it. Now let's take a look at elimination. Elimination is the uh, fun one, I, I think. What you do is you want to match the coefficient to the opposite. The reason you want to have them opposite is it's easier to add. Okay, so for this case, I'm going to multiply by 3 for this one and multiply three, uh, 2 for this one. The reason is I want to add. Okay, I have a plus minus. If you choose to do the eliminate x, that's fine also. You just have to multiply by minus, but I don't want to deal with minus signs. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm going to do it rather, rather quick. My daughter always asks me how to do it so quickly. Well, I had a lot of experience, so let's get to it. 3 times 3, that gives you 9. Okay, 9x nine uh, minus 6y is equal to 30. That's my first one, right? To make sure I copied it right. So 3 and 3. Okay, this one I'm going to do 2. So I have a 4x okay, plus 6y is equal to minus 4. Okay. I'm going to add those two. I have a 13x. This one goes away. Equal to 26. Okay, x is equal to 2. That's a pretty easy one. Once I get x equal to 2, I need to substitute back there. So I have a 3. I pick the first one. 3 times 2 minus 2y equal to 10. Okay, this is 6 minus 2y equal to 10. And minus 6 on both sides, I have 2y equal to minus 4. And my y is equal to uh, plus 4 here. My y is equal to minus 2. Okay, so solution for here, I have x is equal to 2, y equal to minus 2. All right? Hope this helps and have a confident day.